morning, my lovelies. We get to spend another Wednesday together. I feel so lucky. Good morning. You know my drill. I am a creature of habit. We're leaving the cave, and it's like 50 degrees here, which is very unusual for upstate New York. But we have forecast for snow this weekend, which should be lovely. It'll put some icing on the trees and give us a white Christmas, perhaps. Um, I don't know, but right now we have a gorgeous day and feels like springtime out. And we have another fun-filled day full of errands today. So I hope you don't mind. Once again, I'm taking you guys out and about. I believe we have laundry and lunch on the uh, agenda today. But we are going to take you guys, we, me and Tom, are going to take you guys to a new restaurant that just opened right down the road from us. And I'm super excited. Uh, we've already gone. And if you follow me on Facebook, I've posted some pictures. It's called the Red Dot Kitchen. And it is a vegetarian slash vegan restaurant, uh, which is quite unusual for something so close by. And they're really cool and I'm really excited to be taking you guys so let's go back to the nest and you know the drill let me get all cleaned up here and everything and I sewed my cape oh yes I did I felt very accomplished and I I left the sewing machine out because I'm working on something that I hope to have a tutorial up amidst other tutorials that are coming up. Um, but yeah, and I don't want to talk about the shoulders so much, but let's just say uh, I'm still dealing with it, but every day it's a little bit better, guys. So rest and ibuprofen, that's all I've been doing. But, um, you know, I'm hopeful and every day it's a little bit better, a little bit better. And it definitely does appear to be a pinched nerve. Got the little numb fingers going on. But like I said, and because of that, I found a few things that are aggravating. And one of them being, duh, my posture at the computer and things. So much like carpal tunnel, um, I think that that's been an issue too. So when we go back to the nest, I'll show you what I've been thinking of doing. And I talked with Tom about this and he's on board. So I want to set up a permanent workstation at the house. I'm going to really, I'm thinking of getting rid of my couch, which is like a big thing for me because that was the first piece of grown up furniture I bought as an adult uh, that I actually bought new. Um, and I have a lot of memories associated with it, but it's huge guys. And I don't have the grandkids jumping on it anymore and things like that. So it would free up some space in my nest to build kind of a permanent computer filming, crafting. Um, you know, Tom and Nick can build me like a workbench. And I'll show you where I'm thinking of doing that. And then I'll get like a little love seat or something instead of this ginormous sectional couch. But... I don't know, I have a few other things to show you. And I'm thank you for the response on my uh, Dyson deal this month, as well as Mission Inspiration. Those pages came out good. So if you haven't seen them, I'll show you inside. And let's go feed those birdies. I clean the deck too. Very productive. So you guys, except for the bird seed, um, I packed everything up in that Tupperware and Tom and Nick brought it under my deck. And they wrapped up my air conditioner. Keep it nice and safe for the winter. And let's go inside where it's nice and cozy. Shall we? <laughs> ah, yes. Time for some coffee.
Cheers. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, guys, I'm going to finish getting ready. I'll give you a little morning tour, catch up on stuff, and carry on with our day. <laughs> Okay, guys, I'm all dressed. I packed up the laundry, my big purple laundry bag there. And I'll show you what I was talking about with the um, couch. Do, do, do. I'll also show you what I'm sewing over there. This, my big couch. I've had this for... I didn't even think about it. Uh, maybe 15 years now. And that back piece there is a separate you know, sectional piece. And then there's this big, huge couch. And the more I talk about giving it away, the more I don't want to. <laughs> but for practicality, you guys, what I'm thinking about, and what, oh boy, look at that. I'm burning a Nag Champa dupe stick. So there's no wood in that. It's all Nag Champa. It's super strong and delicious. Um, okay, focus, Callie. This back wall here, you guys, think about this. If I move this couch out of here, and again, it's only me, and I'm in my wheelchair like a lot of the time when I'm in here. I don't spend a lot of time sitting on the couch except when I'm using my computer. And this angle of me sitting and bending over here I really think has contributed a lot to my shoulder issue. That being what it may, also, I want a station where I can have my filming equipment, my lighting, my supplies, everything in one spot, and I think we can make it work. So I've talked with Tom about building a work table against this back wall here and even extend on this part here that corner so this would free up the area into the kitchen where I'd actually be able to utilize the space okay because this couch really dominates obviously the room and cuts off my access now there'll have to be a lot of rearranging going on and I'm okay with that but what do you guys think is it time to just let it go it's really not practical for me and if I had everything set up, when I get ideas for videos, I'd be able to go right to it instead of trying to film here on the end of my coffee table or on the kitchen table over here. Now, again, I'm thankful for what I have. Don't get me wrong. But I'm just trying to utilize um, the space more effectively. And it wouldn't cost a lot at all to just build a simple you know, work table and honestly my modem for my computer i don't know how i can show you uh is under this table here this small table and it's an awful place for that stuff i know tom cringes when he sees um first of all it's right next to a heater there's a heater back there and second of all you know my plants are here so there's water often and so we'd be able to lift those up too and just utilize the space better. What do you guys think? I think it's a good idea. And, you know, so that's what we're thinking. And I told you, cleaned up the deck. There's just some ivy out there and some pots. And I did leave my, um, in that wooden planting box over there, is full of leeks and spring onions so they're just bulbs and honestly if I were smart I would get some straw or mulch to put on top but they can overwinter and look at this beautiful poinsettia uh, my sister sunshine miss patty greco sunshine stopped by for a visit yesterday we had a wonderful visit it's always great to see her we don't do it enough 
but look at this glorious poinsettia you guys love it and I don't have any I I used to never get them because I had so many cats um, you have to watch they are poisonous but I won't be eating them and there's no little kids around this year so not that I miss my grandchildren or anything no I'm okay everybody's doing good so, you know trying to get in the holiday spirit and what else did I want to show you I don't know it, boy it's awful smoky in here I saw yesterday my gypsy sister Miss Rita Marie bought some incense as well as her first uh, gazing ball and yes sister I do use stands for mine and you're correct um, I got one of mine at a auction hang on I'll see if I could show you do 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 I have a few of them actually the same woman who I told you about my cape also I was gifted um, up there in the Sun you could see in the bottom there is a crystal ball up there and that was the same witch who gave me the cape Sharon gave me that well it was given to me from her and then this is the one that Miss Rita was talking about right here and I did in fact get this at the auction uh, a year or two ago and you could see the stand on that are some dragons and they're metal um, so that's pretty special but sister you can mold one out of polymer clay you could carve it out of wood um, you could buy them cheaply what else my other one Esmeralda here my big girl she is also on a crystal stand so um, yeah there's that card of the day and as you can see it is brilliantly rainbow hour in here and brightest blessings of that full super moon oh my goodness what a beauty wishing you guys all prosperity and abundance um, let me turn the light on it makes no difference at all <laughs> I wanted to show you the journal pages if you have not yet seen the videos I will link them but this was uh, I was actually two days late this was November's mission inspiration page and I had a blast doing this page and I got a good response from you guys about it so that was a lot of fun and once again you know the glitter never really shows up well uh, on the video but it's really sparkly and glittery and I love doing collage what else oh the uh, December Dyson deal and if you have not joined us over at my Facebook group for the Dyson deal mixed media challenge please join us over there uh, but I had a lot of fun with her as well so yeah and somebody commented and asked me what uh, because often I use images and things from happy mail that you guys have sent me and someone asked me what is happy mail and I didn't even think uh, that I should explain it and obviously not everyone knows so happy mail is just mail that I've gotten from my subscribers and people who've sent me um, various little pieces of artwork or scraps of paper and things and I do love to use them in my journals so she's a getting thick and I promise you guys I will do a flip through when this is finished so we have a little bit to go but these are Dyson deal challenges and then mission inspiration up here so still diffusing and still using some pine what else I saw on Facebook memories today it's been two years uh, since I posted my cinnamon and applesauce ornament video speaking of links I'll put that below too shameless self-promotion and I promise I can't say Girl Scouts promise which is promise I was a brownie 
that by the end of the month you will be getting a uh, beaded curtain tutorial. So that is my promise to you. It is a busy month and barring natural disasters or anything uh, untoward happening, God forbid, I will have that video done because I know you guys are sick of hearing about it and I'm sick of talking about it all the time. So yeah, all good stuff. And I have ideas for other videos too. Oh, and I promise that's another thing. I haven't cooked for you guys in a long time. But I'm still cooking. But I can't resist these lovely lunch dates with my sweetie pie. Okay, um, I pulled out... <laughs> this was my mama's cutting board. And every time I sew, I think of her. So she's been hanging out with me. Um, it's funny. Yesterday was my maternal grandmother's birthday. She's in heaven. And tomorrow is my eldest daughter's birthday. And two days after that was my mom's birthday. So three strong Sagittarians in maternal figures in my life, even though one is a daughter. Okay, um, thinking of my mama while I pulled out the sewing machine. And all I have done, I'm not going to tell you guys what I'm thinking of, but I'm playing with some scraps. I know you're shocked that they're purple and blues and things like that, but here's some flannel. Um, and here's some flannel. You know, I'm just playing around. So, velvet, ooh. Yeah, I have some ideas, and hopefully uh, the month isn't going to totally get away from me again so I can get these out to you guys. Um, and I think... Oh, have I done any decorating? No, I still have up my fall decor. Um, and maybe I'll wait till Christmas Eve. No, I'm kidding. I don't know. Again, it's not going to be like a big celebration. Every day is a holiday here. Um, and I love you guys every day. And thanks for being here. And Lava Lamp, thanks for being a Lava Lamp. So, you guys, um, I didn't even show you what kind of a day we're having, did I? This is the kind of a day. I told you it's like 50 degrees. But I think my pond... Hello, truck which was freezing over is now starting to melt a little bit. But it will be what it will be. And I'm enjoying, oh, look who's there. Look who just showed up. Oh, did you guys see? Fred, Fredders, and Frederica, and the whole Frederick family have been showing up. So I'll try to get some shots again, but that was hilarious. I think we took them by surprise. Oh, you guys. I did not even see this. Look at this. What? This is a package. I was expecting this tomorrow uh, from my daughter, Rachel. Hang on. I got to put the camera down to uh, open it. Oh, I'm excited. Eee. Okay, this is the second time I'm filming this because apparently you have to turn the camera on to record. Who knew? Anyway, I opened my package off camera because I wanted to make sure it was okay to share with you guys. And the best gift ever. I have my daughter, Rachel, who I was just talking about. Hello, it's her birthday tomorrow, and she's sending me presents. Sent me, this is all my North Carolina grandkids. So um, her two, Riley and Jacoby, and then my daughter, Danielle's Carter and Cameron. So these are the North Carolina grandkids. I have one more, Sean, who lives up here. And what an exquisite gift. I am so blessed. I love this mug. It's super cool. And this will be, obviously, my new favorite mug. We love you, Grandma. I love you guys, too. Uh, and also inside was a, uh, a picture of my granddaughter, Riley, who, let me see if I can cover this up here. Uh, is a soccer player now. You know, she's all of five years old. Um, but precious, precious. I'm so blessed. I know I moan a little bit about missing them, but they're right here. And I will get down to see them. Um, and yeah, I love this gift. Ray Ray. This is beautiful. And I love it. And I treasure it. And thank you so much. And I also mentioned to you guys that 
yesterday, I forgot to show you this, I got a new Goddess Provisions box in the mail. So, um, not today, but tomorrow I will do a an unboxing video. And I also wanted to shout out to uh, Miss Linda Varnador, who sent me another letter and let me know that she went zip lining on vacation, which sounds so amazing. And I'm kind of not a big fan of heights. Like, you'll never find me bungee jumping or jumping out of a plane or anything exciting like that. But I would try zip lining. That sounds like so much fun. So maybe someday we'll go zip lining together, Linda. Who knows? But anyway, thank you for the letter. Thank you for the love. Um, I think that's all I have to share with you guys right now. I think. I think. So I'll see you in a few minutes. Her cheeks were red, her eyes were blue, she the armor curling here. Okay guys, my knight in shining armor just got here and he took the laundry and we're gonna drop off his car. Oh, after my neighbor goes. Hello, neighbor. Um, I don't know that neighbor. We're gonna drop off his car and take this car. We're still waiting. Oh, I think my trunk is open. That's what that bell is. He put my laundry in the trunk. Oh, that's funny. Um, anyway, isn't this fascinating? We're going to drop off his car and take my car to the laundromat. And then, then we're going to go get some lunch. Okay, this is my neighbor's car, and this is a Kia Soul. She's driving a Soul. I never saw that. She's letting her soul shine. Man, the sun is bright. Wow. All right. Here we go, loop de loo Okay, I'm not going to, you know, force you to sit through glare here. Let me, uh, I'll show you a little scenery till we get to the cave, okay? Love you guys. There was too much glare to show you guys, so we're at the cave, handsome guys loading up my car, and then I'll see you on the road. sitting outside the laundromat and I didn't get much driving shots because the sun is so bright right now that it was just a big glare in your face and once again I'm feeling like a princess because my laundry is getting done for me and I know I'm a lucky girl to have that happen because for many many years I mean I've had my own home where I've had a washer and dryer and I remember when my kids were little not having a washer and dryer and having to go to the laundromat with three little ones and bags of clothes and it was a whole huge ordeal um, so I feel really blessed right now you know Tom brings the laundry here we drop it off and we pick it up and everything's all folded and nice and I feel kind of spoiled so it works out good for me anyway and for Tom and um, that's three seconds you'll never get back. It's pretty busy here today. So I'm going to stop talking because I look like I'm talking to myself. And I'll see you guys when I see you. And you know what I think is really the coolest, you guys? Is when I look at fellow YouTubers from the United Kingdom. And their washers are in their kitchen and I think that's the best idea. I want a washer and dryer in my kitchen. One day I'll have that. 
yes, this is happening. I'm really hungry. I can't wait to show you what we're going to eat today. While we're waiting, I figured I'd just show you what I, you always hear dangling in the background here. These are just charms. You know I love my charms. It's because I'm so charming. These are gifts from Tom and various friends along the way. This is glass. This is like my big glass one. It's not focusing, but that's all right. And got to have my peace sign. This is one of those essential oil charms I made. Yes, you know there's a video. And they do hold their scent very well. I added some feathers to this one. And this came in a goddess provisions box. And I love it. So whenever I'm driving, there we go, now we have focus. And you hear all this clinking in the background. This is what's clinking. Love you guys. And we're off to the next adventure. Dun, 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 dun. We just pulled up in front of the restaurant and look who came out to greet us. Inja the ninja. And now he's done with us. That's it. Doesn't want to be a movie star. Thank ninja, you. Ninja, aren't you going to say? Okay, guys, this is the side entrance. We're going in. split our stuff so we're gonna get a potato paratha and some curry. Q. 
can't wait. And we also ordered the pakora appetizer, which we had last time. Amazing. If I had a lighter, I would light this candle, you guys. This is amber clove. And it smells amazing. Check out this plate. Yeah, we like it here. This is our pakura, you guys. Yum. Here's our curry. We're going to share this bowl. Yum. Okay, guys, I think this is going to come home with us. We still have the um, potato stuffed bread. I forget what it's called. Paratha, maybe? Uh, anyway, but there was rice in this. I know it looks like a big mush, but nicely spicy, delicious tofu, veggies, lots of basil and ginger. Oh my god, you guys, this is called paratha, and it is stuffed with potato. Okay guys, we did the best we could, but this stuff is coming home. This was amazing. Okay guys, it's 4.30 and as you can see, it's getting very dark out already. So we're gonna head back to the cave. Tom's gonna go do some errands and I'm gonna do some editing. So I'll say see you later when I get back there. See you later. Hey guys, back at the cave, and it's dark like a cave in here right now. Um, Tom went to go pick up the laundry, and I'm going to do some editing. I've already poured some coffee, 
be here now. Any Ram Das fans? I love you guys. If I haven't told you today how much I love you, I do love you very much. And I thank you all for being here. Welcome new subbies. Hugs to my old subbies. I'm um, sending you guys a lot of peace, a lot of love this week. Be good. Stay tuned. I got more stuff coming up. You know I got to tug my ears for those grandkids. And I'm just loving you guys. So I hope you can feel it. Take care. And I'll talk to you really soon. Stay tuned. Check out all my links below. You know the drill. Like, subscribe, share, dance, spread kindness. Um, I love you guys. I'll talk to you really soon, okay? Take care.